What's up everybody? Today we are going to fix one of the biggest issues in a small shop. So let's get to it. Now most of us have one of these in our shop because having one of the big ones when you're working inside of a two car garage is just not realistic. However, when you have one of these little machines, although they work great, you do run into a couple of issues. These have really small in-feed and out-feed tables, and they're quite difficult to adjust with only having a couple of screws underneath. This means that when you start to get pieces that are over three feet long, you start to have to fight with a lot of snipe at the end of your board because you're not getting the proper support on the back end. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that issue with these by creating a sled that extends the in-feed and the out-feed side of your planer, and just maybe, it'll buy you a couple more years before you have to upgrade. All right, we're gonna start by removing these two screws on each side here. These are difficult to get started because they're kind of in the way, but we'll just kind of wiggle these out of here. We're gonna get rid of this in-feed and out-feed table completely. We can store these away for a rainy day, but we're not gonna need them, so we'll just take them out. Now, if you're gonna hold on to the table, I'm gonna throw these in a Ziploc bag so I can shove them in a drawer somewhere. That way I have them if I ever need them. Okay, now this part is optional. I'm gonna take this off which is just removing these pieces here because these are gonna go on the top of my sled. Um, I want these little lips here so that way if the piece, if I put it in at an angle, for whatever reason, I'm not paying attention, uh, these will act as like a bumper and just kind of realign it so that way it doesn't, uh, it doesn't go off to the side and then I'm not plating down if whatever big chunk goes this way or it runs into the corner here and then I have a bunch of other problems. So I'm gonna take these off and these will actually end up on the very top of the sled. Now be careful doing this part because your blades are just right here. So if you have your hand too high, you don't want to cut it. So be careful. Okay, so now I have my main board cut out and I have all of my strips that I've cut down to size. These are for the outfeed. I'm gonna increase the outfeed section of my joiner and I'm not too stressed about the infeed section. Uh, your outfeed is where you end up seeing the most amount of snipe, at least that was true in my case. So I have three foot sections for that. That should give me about five feet before I have to start having to worry about dealing with the weight of the board going over the edge. I don't build things that are much larger than about six feet, so, so that should be fine. Fortunately, the sheet of Formica, I'm also at the mercy of what I have left over, which is just over five feet. So I'll have three feet for the end. I'll have about a foot that goes through the center, and that'll give me a foot for my in-feed table. Now I'm typically supporting the weight 
of my table as I'm pushing it into the joiner, or feeding it through the joiner, um, or through the planer rather. Um, so I'm not too worried about the in-feed length. I'm more worried about the out-feed length. So I got two, two three-feet section here that I'm gonna glue up and I'm gonna pin nail together to hold them all stable. And that'll just kind of beef up the legs so that way we don't get any wobble side to side once we tack these into place. So let's get started on that. Okay, so now I have my outfeed section glued up and pin nailed in so that way it's holding it structurally until the glue dries. Um, I'm gonna add these screws. I don't know if this will do anything, but the more the merrier, right? They're just kind of sitting up, taking, room, taking up room in my shop and I use them for another project and get rid of them. So hopefully it'll make it a little bit stronger. You can omit this part if you'd like. just under the surface so that your laminate isn't bumping into anything. All right, so we've got our outfeed side completed and we need to add our legs for the infeed. Now I've got five feet that I have to work with. So I have three feet on the back end, whatever's in the center. And then I'm gonna come out to five feet, which is gonna be right here. This will be slightly longer than the original that came with it. That's okay. I typically am supporting the weight of it as I'm feeding it through. So I'm more worried about the weight distribution on the back end of it. And so let's cut ourselves some legs. Alright, so the laminate is the last part. We, uh, we're gonna apply, I'm gonna show you guys cutting it down to size, and then we'll apply a coat of glue to our work surface and then to the bottom of our formica. This is the easiest part of the project, so don't be afraid of it, don't let it intimidate you. Um, I'll show you that part and then we'll apply it.
All right, well, that does it. Super easy. Um, just kind of like a make life easier kind of hack. And it uh, potentially prolongs the time that I can use this thing for larger projects rather than having to go out and buy something that's a little bit um, more difficult to fit into a small shop like this. So if you enjoyed that project, um, like and subscribe to the channel down below. I have plenty more to come and I'll see you guys next time.